That's him. I'm not kidding you. That's him. I'm pretty sure. Not 90%. Uh, 90%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's him. It's what I've been waiting for. It's the one I've been waiting for all day. I think that's the one. That's the one. It's the one I've been waiting for. The old tumbler technique. I gotta show you this. This is real key. It's making me do spins. This is my biggest fish of the day right here on the dull tumbler. I mean, clearly, if you're not fishing a sucker, you should fish a tumbler. Uh, I'm, I'm, I got, he went between my legs. Go in, I I got it with this. Get that. Nice. On the tumbler, Dan. I'm not a four pounder, but that's a good one. I'll take it. Dude. <laughs> We've been doing the wrong thing all day, dude. <laughs> I gotta show you this. You gotta see this. Dude, I, I wanna talk to you about um, how sometimes the smallest change in presentation can make a big difference. Almost all day, we've been fishing baits where they're heavy, they're on the bottom, and now we've switched to two techniques where the bait's higher. The bait's almost tumbling, weightless, down the river. And look at the difference. Look at that. Look how far down the, the throat that is, that bait is on this fish. And I want to show you, as soon as I pull it out, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's so far down. It's a swim bait. But this is called the tumbler rig. And I don't take credit for this. This is actually a technique that Dan Quinn told me about years ago. It's called the tumbler. When this water gets real cold, it's a swim bait with a VMC Finesse Nico thread it through the bait. No weight. You're literally letting the bait tumble down the river. Dan, why why is it why is this technique so good, the tumbler? I don't know. I think these fish are just so lethargic. The water's at that temperature where they're not overly aggressive. Yeah. And they're opportunistic, they're river fish, so yep. they're still gonna eat. But it's just too good. It's just rolling by them like a half dead bait fish of yep. some sort and they gobble it up. Man, I tell you, you think of swim baits with big jig heads on Alabama rigs, but try threading that finesse Nico. That's a one-aught finesse Nico. Thread it through the bait. No weight. Try just letting that drift. The bait's sort of going to tumble, has a little action, imitates a dying bait fish. And there's the result. Nice bass. Is this him, Dan? No. I'm sure it's not him. It could, no, but it, it could be a good sign of things to come. Definitely. It looks like a photocopy. <laughs> Damn, we made this big move to increase size, not go down in size. <laughs> Megan? No. Fun though. Maybe? Well, well. That looks like a big yeah, one. it's not too bad. That's a big one, dude. Yeah, it's a good one. Look at that, dude. That's a nice one. Tumbling. <laughs> the old tumble technique. Tumbling down the river. Crazy, dude. We missed it earlier. <laughs> we did, we missed we it. We totally missed it. It's cool. It's so cool, man. Just love learning new techniques or, you know, learning old ones, relearning. On a tumbler. On a tumbler. Down his throat again. Gone. Like down his throat, down his throat. None of them were hooked like that earlier. None of them. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I think. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. The tumbler. All day, Dan. We waited for this. Big one. Big one. 
Oh, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Dude, the tumbler rig, Dan. I'm so glad you invented this rig. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> I don't know if I can take full credit, but you should it's take full credit for it. Really, really deep in his mouth again. Look at that. Damn tumbler, dude. <laughs> it is insane. <laughs> I mean, every one I have to I have to surgically remove it. Bizarre. Yeah. Is that her? I think so. Nah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a nice one. Go on. Nice one. This is insane, dude. I actually feel like a dummy. That we didn't do this. I mean, they're not, but they're all like a pound bigger than what we've been catching all day. Absolutely. That's literally on a half. Like, it's cut in half. It's a half swim bait. <laughs> Little guy. Tumble bass. The old and tumbler. Yes! 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 Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah. Oh, he's, I cannot believe, dude, this rig. Look at the difference, dude. Look at the difference in size. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what a day, dude. What a day. Dude, it's like night and day. Look how thick that thing is, the caliber of fish. And dude, I want to I want to tell everybody how simple this rig is. It's called the Tumbler Rig, a Nico finesse hook, and it has a special little deal keeper there, Dan, that holds that bait on. Right? That's so important, dude. You're just threading it on a swim bait or a fluke. So just the weight of this little one knot VMC finesse Nico, and it's tumbling down current. Mm -hmm. Dude, what a difference, dude. Proof's in the pudding. Dude, I mean, learn something. Learned a lot. This was a cool day. Look at that thing. Uh-oh. They're all good ones, dude. Dude, this is, this is what else is cool about this. We absolutely smashed them today in open water. We're going to make a drive tonight, and tomorrow what are we doing? We're going to Mille Lacs, walleye fishing, on about 16 inches of ice. Drive the truck right out. Drill so holes. Catch big walleyes. So from open water fishing for giant smallmouth to fishing through 16 inch device in less than two days. Welcome to Minnesota. Yeah, <laughs> love it.
again. For information on the product and gear used in this show, go to MikeIconelli.com and follow me on my social feeds at Mike Iconelli. And if you want to help grow the sport of fishing, get kids involved. Go to theikefoundation.org to figure out information on how you could help get involved in getting kids fishing.